right, guys. Uh, so here is the uh, the print after it's done. I'm just uh, going to show you how easy it is to uh, pop it off um, with glass and using a uh, a glue stick. I use there's a couple different kinds you can get that work. I've I've used the Elmer's and uh, just picked up uh, one of these for like a couple bucks at Walmart. Uh, covers a bigger surface area. The, the Elmer's ones I had are a little bit smaller. So these are pretty good, but with a heated bed on glass, when you take this out of the printer, it's you're gonna have a hard time to uh, to get it off. So what I um, I do, I have two sheets of uh, glass. I just went to a local uh, glass shop and got them to cut. The, to six by nine sheets uh, fits the bed perfectly and I just use those little clips on each side so anyways regardless for five bucks I got a couple pieces of glass cut so this is just out of the freezer for I don't know five ten minutes and you can see the a bit of glue but I'll show you just without breaking any of the parts you can see the uh, that's just um, support material. So I had to build it up. Is uh, it's actually a uh, it's a blow up dog. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, my girlfriend wanted one printed or whatnot to see what it was like. Found it on Thingiverse. So we're just going to break apart the uh, the supports and everything, and just show you. Uh, how easy to support material depending on your settings with simplified 3d without breaking any of this because it would suck if the part broke apart or the it would suck if it broke apart if we broke a part of the dog trying to get the material off You see it basically you just work it and it uh, comes right off pretty easily. So with a little clean up, see a little bit in his uh in his breast. I don't know if I can get uh stand by here, I'd see if I can get some light. Give you a better idea. Just a little bit here in the uh, break that off. I need to get a. Uh, I need to get a uh, a finer uh, pair of needle nose pliers. Sometimes to print certain things, you do need to uh, you, de you, you do need to uh, use supports. Obviously, you never be able to print this uh, without support material. There we go. So it's just stuck to a little bit of the leg. So it's just a little bit of a. A little bit of clean up, it's not too bad. So right, guys, here's the uh, Blow up dog, 3D printed blow up dog. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, yeah, she just wanted to, wanted to see what it's like, but it uh, actually turned out pretty pretty good. But uh, I use a uh, simplified 3D. It's a slicing program that basically allows me to adjust like 
how much how much infill the percentage if I'm a time back I think I probably would have made that I think this is like 40% infill or um, support material maybe I could have got away with maybe like 20 so it would, the spacing would be half as uh, half as much as that it makes it uh, for a little bit easier cleanup depending on the, the model that you're printing So, anyways guys, there is the print. So as always, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more. See you later.